Well, the right kitchen tools can make life much easier when preparing some snacks. Gadget Girl shows us which ones we need to run out and buy. For this Gadget Girl, we have a bit of a different segment. I'm joined by Julian from London Drugs, and we're talking about food gadgets, the cool things that you can keep on your countertops to let you make a, some, some different, maybe some cool, interesting new foods, including this one. What's going on over here? Uh, that's a Clower Donut Maker. So it has uh, nice. little pockets. Think of it like a waffle iron, uh, just right. a little bit deeper. Oh, so you can make little, like, six, six at a time, little mini donuts. That's right, yep. And uh, there's lots of different recipes because uh, you're using your own ingredients. Uh, you can do whole wheat. Uh, I made uh, some little cheesy bacon bites That's with That's right. Egg. He brought in actually some whole wheat ones and some cheesy ones, and I com conveniently just ignored the whole wheat ones, and we're going to go straight for the bacon. That's really tasty. Yep, uh, little bagels too. That one's really popular because they're uh, mm. nice bite size, perfect for kids. Oh, that's great. We also have this baby cakes. What's going on over here? Uh, so this is a cupcake maker. Uh, the same <laughs> company also has a cake pop maker. Uh, so nice. it has uh, uh, some little, basically you just put your, your dough in and then in four minutes you have perfectly four made minutes. muffins. Yeah. Really? Four minutes. And you brought in some cupcakes today as well. You have a couple of different flavors of them. I'm going to try one of your red velvet cupcakes here. I can't believe this just took four minutes and you have all of these things. So this one, you were talking about, these might be some nice Mother's Day presents too. Yeah, and there's a little trick uh, that I found when I was playing around with them. Delicious. <laughs> uh, if you take a Ziploc bag and put your batter in it first, cut mm -hmm. a little corner in it, uh, it's a lot easier to hit your target when you're putting it into the cupcake maker or the donut maker. That way uh, it, it keeps it uh, really tidy. We have some more summertime stuff with an instant popsicle, a desktop popsicle maker, which I think is the coolest thing. It just sits on your counter and freezes your popsicle for you. Yeah, you keep it in the freezer and uh, then when you're ready, uh, you pull it out and then you just have to uh, put your juice in. There's a little stick and a little uh, crank that removes it and uh, it just makes uh, three little popsicles in about 10 minutes. The last one here, which is your instant soda maker if you want to make your homemade soda um this is just, it sounds so cool. How, do, how does it work? Uh, so this is called the Soda Stream. It's got a canister of uh, CO2 in the back, and uh, you bring those back to the store to recycle. So in the bottle, there's just plain water, just nice. plain cold water. And when you push the button... Ah, I love that. So you just wait until you hear that weird buzzy noise. You got it, yeah. And then now when it's you carbonated. push, it releases the pressure. And you take the bottle off, Thin. take the syrup, and you pour it in. And uh, you want to go a little slow. And once that's in... A little slow, or we found out the hard way, it will explode. So make sure a little bit slower. Uh, and then you just uh, give her a gentle tip a couple of times to mix. Nice. And if you'd like to wash down that red velvet cupcake with a little bit of cola. Very healthy morning for me, absolutely. Yes. So it so you have for about a dollar a bottle you can have your own homemade soda nice i love that you can recycle the uh, carbon dioxide uh, uh, canisters too i think that's really neat so all of this stuff for your countertop you can have uh, all of these crazy cool cooking gadgets for ctv morning live i'm emily baron cadloff